Hey, what's up? I'm Nick. Welcome to BioGear. So I'm kind of having a hard time filming this this accessory video because I have so many accessories that it's kind of hard to narrow down what I want to recommend to people. So what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to recommend the stuff that I personally use the most. So this will be Nick's most frequent used accessories and stuff that he recommends. All right, so first thing I want to talk about is skinning your computers. I think this is something you need to do regardless of anything. I do count skins as an accessory because it is a protective accessory, but you should always skin your devices. They help protect against uh, scratches, nicks, and you know, generally small damage any kind, anytime that something collides with the computer. Also, they just look really cool. I mean, you can do stuff like this. So I like to put my own art and, and branding on some of my stuff. The rest of it, I like to just leave kind of generic because for one, dbrand sells skins like this for this laptop. Uh, Decal Girl is the other brand I use for stuff that I'd like to do customized. I did not draw this by the way, I just found this online. But skinning is just a good option for protecting against light scratches and also customizing your devices. I really highly recommend everybody gets a skin on just about anything they have. Even my trusty little iPad over here, I also have skinned. Um, I think it's just a good habit. If you like to take care of your stuff and keep it looking brand new, skin it when you get it and it'll stay looking new pretty much the whole time you own it. Also, if you buy something used, let's say this razor blade is second hand or something and you bought it and it had some scratches on it, throw a skin over it. It'll look brand new after you skin it again. So it's definitely a multi-purpose tool. I think everyone should be skinning their devices, but that is my opinion. Sometimes you just like the look of the aluminum MacBook, not drawing attention. You can put a silver skin on it, but again, it's up to you. I will say too that if you do do a keyboard deck skin as well, um, some things like this razor blade, which I've also skinned in matte black, and you almost can't even tell on camera, it does help keep smudges and stuff down as well. Like I said, with protection and stuff too. I've had USB cords flop over when I'm plugging or going to plug in, and they whack the top of the laptop and end up putting like a little silver nick on here or just an ugly scratch. So I do, <laughs> I do like recommending skinning just about every surface that you can probably get away with, unless it's something like my Dell XPS 17 here that has carbon fiber on the inside and probably wouldn't skin the keyboard deck of a carbon fiber skin. I just like the look and feel of the carbon fiber that Dell does. They did a good job. Also disclaimer, if autofocus can't keep up, it's Panasonic's fault. I'm using an S5 right now. So past the skins though, anytime I'm picking up and using my razor blade, I typically have a handful of certain accessories with me. Um, I love braided cables, so I have a 65 watt braided cable adapter from HP. I think these come stock with some of their um, like HP Spectres and stuff. I'm not quite sure which models again have it, but. This one does have a nice little USB-A charger on the end of it too. I think they dedicate 60 watts to the laptop and 5 watts to the USB output, but if I'm going to a friend's house or going out of town and I'm not gaming, I'll typically take this with me, otherwise it just resides in my bedroom near my bed. And the 240 watt power adapter, 230 watts, sorry, power adapter as well. Newsflash, this is a nice clean way to wrap it and I do recommend you do it too instead of just jumbling up the cable. I don't know why people complain about braided cables. They're great, they stay trained. If you roll them up the exact same way that you normally do every time, they're fine. I typically never have a cable fray, so, you know, your mileage may vary. Next up though, this is a laptop stand. I just picked this one up and it has become my favorite right away. It comes with a nice little cloth bag so the metal's not scratching anything up in my bags. And what it does, it folds out and then, let's move the blade. This is like a double decker style. So you lift it up, drop the feet down to whatever desired height you may have. And raise the back up again as well, same thing. Mm, that's even. And then, voila, your blade is now a whole lot higher up off the ground. So instead of where I'd be normally down here staring at my laptop, now I have a much more nice gaming and typing angle. You know, the typing angle is not important to me at all, but if I'm using a controller especially and I'm playing video games um, with the controller, this is great. It takes so much more, it's more comfortable and everything. So this is the, the, the tool that I typically take with me anytime I'm gaming on this laptop and not using a mouse and keyboard. If I am using a mouse and keyboard to game though, I will absolutely end up usually leaving it on the desk as well. It comes with its own little bag to store it in and I will link this in the description below. I don't remember the name of it, but I find this to be an absolutely incredibly super useful stand. Next up though, I do carry a controller with me when I'm gaming and I use this little bitty, uh, very simple to me bag uh, because it's just right around the same size as the controller. Again, I'm really big into keeping everything 
protected and scratchless. I like my stuff being brand new as long as I own it. So DualSense controller, I got the black version to go with the black computer and it's a really good controller. You can use an Xbox controller as well. I do have one for my desktop, but um, I like this controller and I like using a bag to carry it in so that way I don't, like I said, let it jumble around in my backpack and scratch anything else up. This is just another generic bag that I got when I purchased uh, Animal Crossing for the Nintendo Switch. So in here though, keep my power cord all nice and wrapped up. And this is a very super useful little odd tool that I have that I've used for years. It has proven itself in every kit and every gaming laptop I've ever used as a USB fan. So you just plug the sucker into your USB port and I usually just aim it right at the keyboard, especially because that's where most of the heat is produced is right in the middle of the computer. So I point this at it and it helps reduce, very significantly reduce the, uh, the temperatures of the, the chassis. So um, I think this is potentially one reason why I've never had a Razer battery swell is because this does help keep the chassis temps low. Um, but I've had four Razer laptops and none of them have had, ever had any battery swelling at all. This does also keep your sweaty eSports gamer fingers nice and, <laughs> nice and dry. So that's another reason why you could potentially wanna pick one of these up. But for me, it's temperatures and also fan noise. This thing does produce its own noise. It's not super loud. But if you can reduce the temperature of your computer overall, the internal fans may, may not have to spin up so much. So it could actually contribute to having a lower noise level overall. Either way though, I've had this one for several years now and it's lasted great. I will link it in the description. There's no protection for your finger on it. So be careful if you do tend to slap around and lift up your hand a lot, you may end up nicking your finger a couple times. It's plastic though, you'll survive. So that pretty much wraps up all the stuff that I typically use with my blade on a very normal level. Next up though, this is my little travel kit that I typically use for accessories. Um, if you do use an accessory organizer, it tends up freeing up a lot of room inside your bag and keeping your cords from just being literally seated everywhere. I do typically use this one when I'm using my MacBook because I do keep the charger in here as well as like a, a USB-C adapter uh, and micro SD card adapter as well. So uh, shout out to Peter McKinnon though for advising the little bitty stickers. I know he had his little Skull Pirate stickers in one episode that he made, but um, I ended up getting my own art on it and I slap it on anything I don't want to get confused with or lose. But this is made by Tumi. It's very expensive. What I would recommend for most people is this little bag from BagSmart. Bought this on Amazon several years ago as well. Um, it's super lightweight. Uh, it has lasted really well. Um, I'm not super hard on anything I own, but the build quality has been fine. The organization ability of this bag is also pretty, pretty stellar. You know, you can typically throw like your, your power adapter or a USB-C charger in here. Um, all kinds of cords and adapters, SD cards, whatever you want inside of it. So I really like this bag by BagSmart. Again, I'll link it below. So last thing I really wanna recommend though is gonna be some sort of high quality, good backpack with lots of padding in it. I typically use Tumi bags myself nowadays because the quality is so amazing. But um, depending on the size of the bag and how much you actually wanna carry around, uh, there's definitely a ton of options out there on the market right now. Um, if you don't want to spend a ton of money on the Tumi bag, uh, look into manufacturers like Dell, HP, Lenovo, and Razer. They all make pretty decent bags for the money. Um, and especially if you're on a tight budget, those bags from those PC manufacturers are usually well worth it. They got plenty of padding for the laptop to keep it protected and uh, a lot of organization in there too. But if you do get something like one of these to put all your cords and everything into, the organization will mean a whole lot less if you can just throw this in your bag and take it out at any point and put it in another bag. So that about wraps it up for everything that I typically use every day with my computers. Um, if you have any questions regarding any of this gear, just drop them in the comment section below. Um, I've got a docking station video coming pretty soon as well. If you do want to dock in your computers, use them as a desktop as well. I uh, did pick up an Alienware monitor here recently and I'm using it to monitor myself currently. But I'll be going over just a some multi-purpose setups and stuff here in the future. But yeah, all this gear has been great. It's treated me well over the years that I've used them. And uh, hopefully you find some of the stuff useful and pick it up for yourself. So again, one more time, if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. Please do like the video and subscribe as well. My channel is growing and I highly appreciate the support that you guys are giving me for that too. So take care, have a good one. Catch you in the next one.